Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you how to do Flexbox containers in Breakdance. One of the great things about Breakdance is that all of Breakdance's container elements are Flexbox containers by default. In this video, I'll show you both the basic layout controls, which is what I use for 99% of my layouts. I'll also show you the advanced controls, which are simply visual controls for CSS Flexbox. So on this page, I have two sections. Uh, another section in my top section, I have a columns element, I've got my left column, my right column, and I have a div element. A div element is a standalone container and makes it easier to create layouts without needing to use deeply nested columns. Now all of these elements have the same basic layout controls and you'll find them in the design tab under layout. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use this div element to demonstrate the layout controls. First, we have a line, which is left. That'll make everything inside that container, whether it's a div or a column or a section, a line left. Next is center, and then last is right. So you go center, left, right. And of course, this is responsive, so you could set it to, say, center on this device, and then on a smaller device, you could set it to align differently. Next up, we have vertical align. We have top, middle, and bottom. So if you want to go top left, you'd set a line to left, vertical align to top. If you wanted to go, then you go center, right, then you go to middle, left, center, right, or you go bottom, left, center, right. So I'm going to go middle and middle to center, center the content in that div. Uh, next up, we have gap. This is the space between the elements in the container. So I could set gap to zero, and these elements will touch each other, or I could set gap to 100, and they'll be further apart. I'm going to leave gap on 40. Next up, we have the horizontal controls. This allows you to create horizontal layouts without needing to deeply nest columns. So let's open the horizontal controls. First, we have a line. We can choose a line left. The elements now stack horizontally, a line left. We can go center. We can go right. We also have space between, space around, and space evenly. Let's go with align center. We also have vertical align. We can go top, we can go middle, we can go bottom, and we also have baseline. Let's go with middle. And then we can choose vertical at. This is when the layout stops being horizontal and becomes vertical. So for example, right now on desktop it's horizontal, still horizontal on tablet landscape, still horizontal on phone landscape, but maybe it's going to get a little bit tight on phone portrait, so maybe we want to stack it vertically on phone portrait. To do that, we would just choose vertical at phone portrait, and now it will be a vertical layout on phone portrait and horizontal on the bigger devices. Okay, let's clear out these horizontal layout settings because I want this to stack vertically at all times. And now let's say I wanted to do a horizontal layout inside this div element. For example, I wanted to create a layout like this, where I have a heading, I have text, and those are stacked vertically, but then I have a button and a link stacked horizontally. Well, how do we do that? We can place containers inside other containers. So I'm going to place another div element inside my current div element. So I'll just go to add, add a div, and inside this div element, I'm going to drag the button in there, and I'm also going to add a text link inside of that div. Now, since this div also behaves as a Flexbox container, I can simply go to the layout options and I can choose align center under horizontal and vertical align middle under horizontal and give myself a 20 pixel gap. These are the layout controls that I use for 99% of my layouts, but for the 1% of you that want the advanced controls for Flexbox, I'll show you where to find those. Simply go to settings, go to advanced, Go to Wrapper, and then under Layout, simply choose Display Flex. And here you'll have all the Flexbox controls, Flex Direction, Align Items, Justify Content, etc. You also have Flex Child controls under Advanced. Just open the Advanced panel, choose Flex Child, and you have Align Self, Order, Flex Grow, Flex Shrink, and Flex Basis. Okay, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and that is how to do Flexbox containers in Breakdance. Thank you very much for watching.